Hello everyone, thanks so much for watching and sticking around to the end of the video. I'm gonna talk about some of the comparison and uh, um, setting. So first of all, the setting is the color plus one, sharpness plus one, and a minus four auto white balance shift plus three, minus three, uh, color chrome weak, and then color chrome blue weak also. So, and then the base is classic chrome. So both of them are in the same, uh, settings and um, first of all let's go through the um, comparison side by side quickly so as you can see that um, these two pictures are in the same distance uh, like the distance between me and the model is the same that's why the left side is the 50 mm f 1.0 the right hand side is the 90 mm f 2 so you can see the differences between the background is more 
uh, zoom background for the 90 and it's more uh, zoom in so these two are original jpeg and you can see the differences for uh, this one and uh, i think for the same distance you had to step back in order to crop in the same distance same cropping you have to step back about five to six feet so make sure you have enough room in your environment to step back um, just to get to the same uh, framing as the 50 mm if you have a shooting the 90 mm because it is um, you need more room to work with it's like more than 100 mm equivalent so um, so let's zoom in slightly a little bit more just to see uh, how two different cameras doing you can see that um, the sharpness uh, definitely the 90 f2 is um, both of them are wide open but the 90 is at f2 at wide open so that's the differences uh, you can zoom in so let me close this one just uh, to focus on the pictures so you can see the differences and then let me zoom in a little bit more and then zoom in a little bit more for this so you can see that definitely um, for the 90 is sharper so that's one of the advantage of the 90 it is uh, sharper than the 50 and um, the disadvantage is uh, you have to step back a lot more in order to do a um, more context of the environment but uh, if you're shooting headshots uh, more you can definitely use the 90 more so that's uh, depends on your situation so let's go back to the next one you can see that they are in the same uh, frame the same frame you can see the shadow of the triangle is the same and uh, because the 90 mm the background zoom in a lot more uh, it's like uh, magnified bigger because it's the zoom uh, more it has more zoom than the 50 f1.0 so it depends on your style which one do you like more you can comment below which one do you like more uh, out of the straight out of the camera uh, do you like more zoom in style or do you want more context of the environment um, so let's uh, zoom in to be the same so that's why um, I have to step back in, in if I have to get to the same shot I have to step back for the 90 um, about five to six feet uh, behind what I was taken on the 50 f1.0 so and um, this shot this shot the 50 is uh, pretty sharp uh, in the sunglasses and let's check this one is pretty sharp also um, there's just a slightly difference in the white balance because the 1.0 uh, attract more light into the camera than the uh, f2 but these are uh, can uh, can be adjusted in the post as well so yeah uh, so these are two side by side comparison of the um, two different lenses so it depends on which one do you like so the big thing i uh, want to say is that um, you definitely need more room to work with because uh, straight out of the camera you can see that include more context you see this one crop the garage this one didn't crop the garage it has even the second floor window as well so yeah so it depends on if you're shooting very tight city street definitely 50 um, and then if you are shooting with a lot of space available go for the 90 because it's uh, sharper also and the bokeh both of them are pretty nice also so this one also you can see the steps the steps got cropped in the here and then it, it got um, cropped on the door also so that's for the 90 the left side is the 50 again so let me zoom back in and then zoom in a little bit more so this one yep uh, from from this full body definitely i can see that it is sharper on the 90 f2 so let me zoom in a little bit more yep so it is sharper um on the 90 so you can see the differences and the bokeh the bokeh it blew out a little bit more for the 50 and the 90 
it has a lot uh, more uh, like solid lines uh, you can see the differences and let's check on the next one this is the last set let's do it here first and then change to half body so let's crop to the same frame yep so this one also the, for the 90 mm on the right hand side is also sharper um, this one a little bit soft on the face probably the focusing um, issue um, for the uh, for the single s so sometimes because it's 1.0 if you slightly move a little bit it will be out of focus so um, that's the two differences between these two lenses so depends on which one do you like sometimes the f1.0 you can get the focus nailed it and sometimes uh, a little bit soft it depends on the situation and the lighting also so um, definitely if you uh, have have enough room go for the f2 uh, 90mm because um, definitely for the sample size uh, in one shoot like from this shoot the the uh, the images from the 90 it seems sharper so i will do a couple more shoots uh, later if i have time just to have more sample size uh, to compare but uh, from this quick shoot this quick shoot only last about half an hour to 40 minutes uh, we only did some nice uh, quick shoots uh, so just um, some quick comparison so yep uh, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up bye